What's going on everyone? It's Ozzy from Ozzy Hardware and this is part two of my $80 water cooling setup. And I tweeted you guys about two weeks ago, three weeks ago, and I asked if you guys wanted to see my brother help build me the com or help build the computer with me since it will be his computer. And you guys said yes, a lot of you did, and it was one of my most popular tweets the last month. So, this is my brother. Uh, introduce yourself. Hey, I'm Namdi. This is the computer Ozzy's gonna build for me, and he's gonna build it for me for me and my other brother, my twin brother, Chinenso, so we could do stuff like watch his channel and do other cool stuff. Why did you want to come oh, yeah. in the first place? To, to make beats, because <laughs> I used to make beats, and then I stopped for a little bit because our computer broke, but then Ozzy's doing enough for me again so I can make more music. Yep, so he's basically an aspiring music producer, so if you guys want free beats, or I don't know if you're having people pay for them. I'll put his link, his SoundCloud link in the description below. But uh, just let's see how much computer knowledge you have. Have you water cooled a, a computer before? I don't know what that means. Have you built a computer before? No. Do you know what a processor is? No. We have a lot of work to do, but we'll get there. Well then this is pretty ambitious because we're actually gonna do a custom water cooling loop as his very first computer um, ever built or that he will be building. So. Pretty ambitious, but I think we can do it. Uh, tag team thing that we have going on here. So, can you explain water cooling? I'll explain it to you off camera since I don't know how much storage I have. All right. So the first thing that we're going to do, since we're doing a full custom loop, is we're going to put the water block on the video card. So this is the video card right here. Uh, I'll put it up here just so you guys can see it. That's the this card that plays video. You guys mentioned that if I do a, cu a full custom loop that I would have to add VRM heat sinks on there, so I have them on there now. All right, let's just pause for a quick second. You see where those heat sinks are placed? Those are not the VRMs. Those are the VRAM chips, and I totally mixed up the two. So it was a really stupid error, a very silly mistake, but I ended up fixing it. But just so you know, and I'm not giving you guys wrong information, the heat sinks right now are on the VRAM, not the VRMs, but I did end up fixing it. So. Let's continue. And so we're gonna just install the water block and then go from there. The first thing that you do when you install any kind of block is like kind of It looks clear. like a heroin needle. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> That's a really interesting observation that you know what that is. Okay, uh, so this is, no, stop. <laughs> so this is uh, the thermal paste. And you need this because that's what's gonna help conduct heat to make sure that this doesn't burn. You can't just put it on there. So you're gonna very lightly push this down and then put a pea-sized drop in the middle. Very slowly. Okay, that's good. That's good. And now we gotta put the water block on, so I'm not exactly sure how this works because there weren't any instructions, so we'll figure that out. We'll come back and we'll figure it out. So. This is like surgery. Honestly, it kind of is like surgery. Yeah. Who knows, this could spark something new in you. Yeah. So the next thing that we have to do is we have to install the CPU water block and then after that we'll go into the radiator and the fans. So this is what it looks like with it installed. I have the second camera up here. Let's start with the CPU water block. We're going to do that next. It's going to be the same process because I'm pretty sure the kit is the same. The screws are the same essentially and the block is a little bit different, but I mean it works the same way. And I already installed these things. These things are the fittings and this is what the tube is going to go on. And the tube is what the water moves through. It's a cooler. That's a toss man. Okay, I wasn't trying to. But... <laughs> All right, so we finished the back plate for the motherboard, and now we are going to screw it in and get the CPU block on there. That's the last right. thing. That is not the last thing. You see all of this? We got to get all of that in there. Yeah, so. There's it's a fine. It's fine. <laughs> okay, so we finally were able to get the CPU water block on. It took a lot Mad longer. Long. Than we, yeah, it took a lot longer than we thought, and that's because we messed up with the springs and a lot of other things. But as you can see, it's right here. <sighs> there we go. It's right there and uh, it's installed properly. So now we're gonna do the radiators, the fans, and make sure everything is installed, including the GPU with its water block. And then after that, we can go into the tubing and get started on the loop. So, let's get to it. So we're gonna do a front-mounted uh, radiator as intake, 
And I know a lot of people are against that, but the temperatures actually aren't that bad, especially if you, if you have two exhaust fans at the top and then one at the back. We will have one at the top one and one at the back, which will be enough uh, for proper airflow. And I also don't have enough space to actually mount it at the top, unfortunately, so I'm gonna have to do it here at the front. So let's get ready. We have our radiator right here. We have our green LED fans that we picked up for pretty cheap, and you're gonna be installing all of this. So let's get started. Okay, so before we do that, smells good. Should go through both ones. <laughs> We're gonna screw it in here with one of those slits. Oh, just can move it to the left. We finally got everything that we need installed, minus the pump and the reservoir, which we have right here. What the floor the reservoir dogs? I don't know what she just said. Anyway, this is the pump and the reservoir. This is the last thing that we have to install, and then we just have to get everything set up for the tubes. And so the way that I have it right now is, let me move this. Here we go. Yeah, that works. Or you can come like, lean your head this way. <laughs> right like that. Okay, so right now what I'm planning for the loop is I'm planning to have this guy sit right here. And then it's gonna go around like that, 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 and then back through here. Um, I don't think it's the best looking loop, but honestly, it's the one that is the most practical right now. I can't see me doing it any other way. Maybe putting the um, reservoir and pump in here where the hard drive caddies and the uh, bays go. But then at that point, it's a little bit harder to access and in case I needed to drain it, it would be a little bit more difficult. So we're gonna leave it right here and then we're gonna go from there. So, are you ready? We're almost done. Yeah. We've been working on this for like, what? One, two, three, four, five like, hours. Not five hours, <laughs> but like three, three and a half-ish. Well, we took like an hour break. Yeah, we took a long break. We played some 2K, I ate. All right, so the first one that we're gonna do is we're gonna put it on the CPU. The first one? Yeah, the top one. And this one is gonna go right here on this side of the radiator. Yeah, you're gonna have to use a lot of force. Just keep pushing it. No, 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 no. That is not how it works. <laughs> Just keep pushing that in. Yeah, it's gonna take some force. That's good though. We want it really tight, just so we don't have any leaks. Okay. <laughs> cool. So the next part, we're gonna have to bend it and put it in right here. You see where that fitting is? <laughs> I guess we're water benders. <laughs> um, get closer. You wanna do one single cut. There we go. I'm really scared to try this out and like turn it on because I feel like it's gonna be weak. So now the next one. We're gonna connect it to the video card right here. We're gonna connect it to this one. Right. So we want a lot of space. Whatever starts like. I know. That's what I'm scared of. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I've never water cooled, custom water cooled before. Okay. Let's do this. Pip, pip, doobly do. How much more water can you use? <laughs> Now is the moment of truth. Now we're going to put water in the uh, reservoir on the pump. I already tested it, so it worked um, when I tested it out. Uh, hopefully we don't get any leaks, but just as a precaution, we're gonna put some paper towels that I strategically placed right there. We're gonna put paper towels over all of the, um, over and under all of the fittings, just in case. So let's do that, we'll come back, and then we'll finish the loop. Hopefully everything works. We'll see. Hopefully it doesn't blow up. <laughs> that would be so funny. <laughs> yeah, it's your computer. We have the power supply shorted out and everything, um, so we don't have to plug it in. I'm gonna go turn it on, and hopefully it works. If it blows up, I'm not yeah. running. <laughs> no, don't run. Okay. <laughs> I'm so nervous. Why is there anything happening? I don't know, maybe I didn't short it out correctly. Does this yeah, even work? work? Does it work? I don't know. What's in my pocket? Oh, snap! 
Well, it, worked. It, it worked. worked. it worked. It worked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Boy, it worked. Uh. <laughs> oh, it's leaking. I'll just find this. <laughs> Alright guys, so we finally finished the loop and this right here is the finished product. We're actually recording this about three days after we did the whole loop and installed everything. There are a lot of unknown purchases that we had to do uh, simply because of the hardware that we have. One of the issues that we had was that the CPU and the video card were running much hotter than expected. It was reaching like 85 degrees Celsius on the CPU and like 100 on the GPU. And so that was a really stupid error. I actually forgot to take off the plastic on the back of one of the heat sinks. Tisk, tisk, tisk. Tis. Yeah, <laughs> it was a really stupid <laughs> error, but uh, I fixed that. And then for the GPU, uh, the 7950, it's really weird the way that the GPU die is set up. AMD has this really weird like socket thing around it. So you need one of these. It's called a copper shim. It's like a small heat sink. And you need one of these just so the uh, GPU block can make contact with the video card. And I didn't know that the 7950 and the 7970 uh, needed that. So that was an extra purchase. It was about seven bucks for like 20 of these. I only needed one. But now everything's running uh, pretty well so far. So I've been yeah. running, 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 got it checked. Yeah, don't put that in the video. Okay, well, it's video. probably going in. No, no, just because no, no, don't put that in the video. That was, that was really cringy. Don't put that in the video. How about you? What was your experience uh, installing the loop and saying that you built a computer essentially for the first time? It was cool saying I built a computer. Not many people can say that. That was a long, sometimes boring experience. There was fun moments. Yeah. And I could go back to producing for people like Stevie Wonder. Oh uh, yeah. Stevie Wonder? You know he's blind? I did not know. Uh, Thanks for letting me know. Yeah. Yeah. It's a great <laughs> fact. Thanks. <laughs> if you had to do this again, would you do it again? No. You wouldn't. And why is that? It was really maybe if I knew how to do it better because it wouldn't take as long. But this is also a three day long process, so I don't know if I want to do this again. That took really long. Yeah, it took us a lot longer than I expected. Yeah. I told him that like I an only hour. Gave, yeah, I told him I told him an hour. Plus it 71 being, is what it ended up being. Yeah, it ended up being like four hours to actually get the loop running and then about another like 20 minutes to get everything looking good and then I had to test and then we had issues. So about three days total um, just to get this at this point right here. I think I would probably change the loop because right here, like we have like a really long wire that's kind of in front of everything else. And then these cross and then this one is coming out a little bit too far or further than um, we would like. Uh, other than that, uh, I'm pretty happy with everything else. I probably would have went with different color LEDs uh, just so the color scheme is better. And then the GPU has really bad GPU sag right now but I'll fix that eventually. I'm just happy that everything is working, so. And he gets his computer back, so that's good. So the total price of everything here was about 100. I'll put the actual price on screen when it came to all the components that I used, and then the total price for the loop itself. Um, overall, I would say so far it's a success. I will have a comparison to a 240 millimeter uh, all-in-one cooler, and then I'll have a comparison with the Wraith South cooler that comes with the FX 8370 uh, as well. So, with all that being said, that's pretty much the uh, build log for this uh, computer, your new uh, computer. So, it's pretty exciting. Do you have anything else you want to say to the audience before we go? Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Happy New Year, guys. All right. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys later.